Hey loves, it's Amber and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. Today we are back in our Sims 4 Love Struck expansion let's play that I have affectionately dubbed Rags to Romance. So we are here with our girl Carolina and oh. she has just woken oh. up for the day. She's really hungry and it's about time for work. We are just going to have her work from home again for today since when you only have one Sim, I feel like it's kind of boring if they go off to work. So we'll keep her home with us. Since the last part, I've done a couple of things. The first thing that I did is replace her blow up mattress with this new bed that came as like the pre-order special order bonus for the love struck expansion pack it is perfect for this it looks a little bit busted a little run down it's kind of just like a little frame and she was able to get this mattress and then just like some blankets it has a cute little pillow underneath and then like some boxes just just kind of some of the couple things that she was able to take with her when she left we also have our suitcase out and she is talking to our little axolotl I also gave a little makeover to our boy Angelo because, you know, I thought he deserved it. I think he looks really good. He turned out really, really cute. I'm, I'm a big fan. Not sure how she's feeling about it, but I'm definitely all about him. He does look a l little bit, maybe a little too much like Corey, but we won't talk about that. We all make decisions. I also downloaded a mod and i think we should hop into create a sim and check it out so it's a mod that gives you some more options for attraction so if we come here we still have our same likes and dislikes category but here in the turn ons ah. and turn offs category we now have body decorations body hair eye color facial hair figure fitness scars and occults i will link this mod down below it's by missy hissy if you're wondering but i figured we could add a a couple of these so I think we'll I think we'll let our girl go for a little arm hair some leg hair uh, maybe even a little chest hair uh, for eye colors I chose there's two different versions of this one that has just natural eye colors and one that has some more unnatural eye colors so let's say uh, girl likes dark <laughs> eyes so amber brown uh, black purple uh, hazel uh, let's go for that I'm just giving her a bunch. Um, for fitness, let's go medium, muscular. Let's go for those two. We, she likes like a like a like in between. For uh, oh figure, for figure she likes medium. Maybe a little chubby. Um, I don't know. Is slim smaller than lean? I guess slim. I don't know. <laughs> And then facial hair. We like a beard. We like a goatee. We're not gonna go for a mustache. Like we don't. We don't want a single stash. Um, we're not gonna like any occults. Um, we're gonna say she's unattracted to nope. aliens because uh, I don't want to accidentally uh, run into them. And uh, I think that'll be it for our girl. So let's hop back into the game and see what she thinks about some different Sims now that she has a few more attraction options. So for her work today, she needs to listen to the romance station for one hour and watch a telenovela TV channel for two hours. So obviously we don't have anything here at the house, so we're going to need to travel. So let's hop into the map and see where we can go. In the last part, we went to the lounge and we also went to the park, but we haven't been to this neighborhood, Nueva Corazon. This is kind of like the city side, which I feel like there was just a little bit more on apartments over here, but that's okay. I think we'll hit the gym. It's a singles hangout, so that's perfect for my girl. I know everyone's like so tired of gyms in all the packs, but it kind of makes sense because they're a base game community lot. So it makes sense that we'd have a lot of gyms in the game. So she's really hungry. So I guess we can check and see if there's anywhere to eat in the gym. It kind of makes sense that there wouldn't be, but there, there could be. So we have this cute little gym. They have this little dumbbell area, which I wish they made these like functional. That'd be really fun. There's also like a stereo and kind of like a dance floor type area. We may do some slight adjustments to the gym to give it some more stuff. Let's see, there's a bar, but I don't think you can get something out of the bar if there's not a bartender. You can't get food. There's a coffee pot and this picture's really pretty on the wall. Nothing out here. Let's see, is there a grill? Okay, so 
Hmm, there's a vendor, so presumably there's maybe somewhere around here where we can get food. Yes, there's like a little flower shop. We could buy gifts and flowers here. But there's also a food stand over here. So let's have our girl come over here and haggle because we only have $47. We got paid yesterday, but I used a lot of our money buying the bed. Okay, so I don't know if you guys saw that. It flashed by real quick, but our ex-fiance Corey is actually at the gym. So we'll deal with that in a second. So we have Pimbazo. Pambazo is a traditional Mexican dish made by dipping stale bread in a spicy guajila pepper sauce, then stuffing it with chorizo, potatoes, lettuce, cheese, and cream. It's a delicious, hearty sandwich, often enjoyed as street food, offering a burst of flavors and textures with every bite. That actually sounds delicious. We also have fish tacos, which we've had, and then the vegan version of this. But I think we're going to go for a pimbazo because that sounds really good. Also, look at our girl. Look how smooth she is, automatically getting that discount. So uh, that's good. So now we kind of have like an awkward situation because I want her to be able to go to the gym but her ex is definitely over here but we kind of need to be in the gym because we need to get our work test done so while she's eating her food i'm gonna have her come over here and listen to the uh, romance station and then we'll see if Corey is still here i didn't just see him so maybe he decided to leave maybe he saw us when he was walking by and he decided to head out. Also, here's one of my Sims. This is Miss Nova Curious. I did like a mini Let's Play series of the Stuck in Their Shadow scenario. And that was with Nova. So that's my like made over version of Nova. Okay, I don't see Corey anywhere. So I guess he left. Maybe he uh, saw us here and decided it was too awkward to be here. Here's this little sim. He's a paparazzi, Alika Caressi. He's kind of cute. They could use a little makeover, but he's not bad. I wonder if we... I don't want her to move because I want her to... I want her to get done listening to music because our girl's got to get these work tests done. Our money is extraordinarily funny. And I don't know if there's a radio anywhere else in this gym. I also feel like I want her to meet Nova just because I want her to have some friends, you know. Our girl's struggling, but it doesn't mean she can't have friends. We're focused on love, but we want her to be a fully rounded individual with friends and a love life. Okay, we're listening to our music. Okay, Nova is gonna come over, so that's good. Let's see what she thinks about Nova. Oh, she thinks Nova is strong-minded, so that's positive. I think they can be good friends. Let's discuss interests. It's too bad we don't have one of these today that's like, give unsolicited dating advice, because she loves giving love advice. Oh, Nova has the following skill, so she has charisma skill. I don't know how I feel about the fact that now you get to know people and it tells you, like, what skills they have. Like, is that helpful to me? Girl, Nova, no, don't be flirting. Nova's, I'm pretty sure, in this save file in a relationship with Louis, so... Like, not ideal that she's trying to flirt. We could actually create a hangout, I think. Which, I don't know exactly what that is. Okay, so we got that done. So we're able to get that done. I'm wealthy. Very wealthy. Just last month, I bought Social Bunny and Cupid's Corner. Just straight up bought them. You caught my eye, and I was hoping to get the chance to meet you in person. I know it's a lot to ask, but I have gifts for you. What do you say? So, like... I want to say no, I really do. I want her to have that pride and be able to say no, but we have $120 and um, nothing in our house but a bed, a toilet, and a shower. So we're going to have to say perhaps at least. Oh, Carolina's learned more about Zaktiel and is now attracted to her. She has fitness skill. Said, hey, uh, that's great. I yes. would send a limo, but I'm kind of a cheapskate. I'll be waiting at the Beso Rapido Motel in Vista Hermosa, Ciudad Enamorado. I can only meet today. Very busy with many CEO things. Hope to see you. Okay, we'll try it. We'll see. We'll see if she shows up. 
I love that they got a little bit of romance from this also, by the way. So I'm gonna have her go ahead and come in here. She needs to watch the telenovela channel. Yeah. So we're gonna watch the telenovela channel because there's TVs in here. But I would like for her to run. Oh, I guess we'll watch this other TV because in that way she can uh, run on the treadmill while she's watching. watch telenovela and then uh, let's go ahead and work out let's let our girl multitask you know it's the sims 4 that's one of that was the big selling point right our girl is um not feeling great about meeting a wealthy weirdo what has carolina gotten into a wealthy widow called and wants to meet in person the meeting will take place at the Beso Rapido Motel in at Vista Hermosa Ciudad in Amarado. The invitation stands until the movement expires. Who knows, the quirky adventure might just surprise Carolina. Okay, that's cool. So I like that they have like this little moodlet just to kind of let you know how long you have it. Also, our girl likes fitness, so she's having a good time here. So I'm just going to let her get like two hours of working out in while she watches this little channel. I kind of want to uh, adjust this gym a little bit and put in like some yoga stuff because our girl definitely was a, a yoga sim. Why don't we encourage Nova to work out? You should work out with us. But yeah, Carolina was definitely really into yoga before, you know, everything happened so I think it would be good to have her have this gym and be able to get back into that also I'm gonna be buying like a yoga mat for home okay he's, he's coming up here in his towel like is Daryl is Daryl trying to be tempting okay a little funny introduction to him I can't remember if he's in a relationship. Oh, instant attraction. Carolina oh, McKee has instant attraction to Daryl Charm. If she chose to act on it, Carolina McKee would be strongly inclined towards romance with Daryl Charm. Okay, interesting. Also, girl, it's no way you haven't had at least... Watch the TV. Okay, I'm going to have to get you off the treadmill because it seems like you don't know how to multitask. That's literally what you're supposed to be doing. Is Daryl married? I can't remember. Is he married to Gemma? It looks like she doesn't. If he is, she doesn't know it. But they have terrible first impressions of each other. But that's a mod, so it's a little bit different. We just reached fitness level 2. Asked to be his sim of honor. I'm gonna assume he's married. Man. Um, otherwise... Or engaged, I guess I should say. Bernard Otherwise, can't Bond quite figure out how I would be his sim of honor. Uh -uh. I like that he's like, girl, I don't need your love advice. I'm already engaged. They're not really into each other. She wants to achieve romance level five. She wants to kiss someone. And then she needs to go to the potty because her needs are low. But I'm just going to stand here and get this TV done because... That's what we need to do. Oh, Yoltik is calling. Angelo and you are such a great pair. You two should think of something more long term. Okay, I mean, I was kind of considering him as like a potential dating option, but it seems like he <laughs> likes us with Angelo, which is fair. Let's talk to Nalani. I think Nalani would be such a cute friend for her. Let's compliment her outfit. And then let's get let her go down here and use the toilet before she like loses it. It is interesting because they've used like these new doors to create these showers, but it's kind of hard because even though I have the walls like half up, you still can't see in here. I guess these are half walls, which I get is good for like The Sims' privacy, but like. Makes it a little bit hard to play in for me. Oh, here's Becca. She's also really cute. Oh, she's a gym trainer. She'd be like a cute friend too. I don't know. I can't decide who we want Carolina to be friends with. Like, she definitely needs some friends, but I don't know who we're going to go for. It's like 5.30 on a Wednesday and we still haven't finished our work test. Like, she needs to get on top of this because we need to meet the wealthy weirdo. And I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind doing a little Cupid's Corner today. 
So maybe we uh, maybe we should get a Cupid's Corner date and bring him here to the gym. Like that would be cute, right? Oh, well, she's finishing up watching the TV, and maybe we hop on <laughs> Cupid's Corner. She hasn't been on it before, so we can try it out. And a gym date's cute. Oh my gosh, look how cute she is. Okay. So she's romantically attracted to women and men. That's actually not true. I did change it. Um, she's just romantically attracted to men, but we'll see what we get. Let's just do young adults. She's loyal and romantic. I think those are the perfect traits. So let's see what kind of matches we have. So we have Elvis. Practice makes perfect and nosy. Um, maybe. He definitely needs a makeover. Venetia is beautiful. But we're not into girls. Olivia's also cute, not into girls still. Leslie, okay, we are just getting nothing but girls here, even though I specifically have it set um, for her. Cause like, I can't change it here. What does it say? Sim sexual orientation determines the matches who their matches will be. These can be updated in create a sim under the other details. Yeah, I know. Okay, so hold on. Let's hop back into create a sim. I definitely changed this like a second ago, but we'll try it again and see if we can't get it fixed. So if we come here, okay, I guess it just switched. Okay, so... She's romantically attracted to men, and then she's exploring romantically, sure, and then she's interested in woohoo with men. So uh, that is our girl. So let's see if that updates her matches. I also created like some cute gallery sims that I would love for her to be able to go out with. So I'm hoping they'll pop up too. She did finish everything she needs to do for her job. So we're good to just kind of hang out for the rest of the day, and it looks like we'll get promoted. So. Let's see if our matches are updated. Probably not. So let's just go ahead and refresh. Okay, so we have Hobart. He's a nosy and an animal enthusiast. He's okay. Corey is a goofball and clumsy. That's actually kind of cute. Rodrigo, child of the village, neat. Okay, he's cute. I like him. Both of his traits are actually turn-ons for her. Joaquin. No, I don't think so, Joaquin. Akira. Self-assured and jealous. I feel like we have to go for Akira, right? Like everyone, you can't not do Akira. Child of the village and hates children. Definitely not a hates children lover. And I don't think we're Faz's type. So I think we should go ahead and create a little date with Rodrigo. I think he could actually be a lot of fun. So why don't we call him over and do a little get to know you date here at the gym. I think that'll be cute. So we're gonna do another get to know you date. I know we've done one before, but I don't wanna do a romantic date with someone just yet. We may come back around and do a little romantic date with Angelo, but let's socialize, be friendly. Let's exercise. We'll save the moment, she's a picture girl. And then maybe we should dance? Why don't we socialize, be friendly, and be funny? And then we'll just do it here at the gym. Okay, so perfect. He should be meeting us here. Let's see. Oh, I definitely should have done dance. Look at everybody over here dancing. Okay, let's see where he is. Oh, there he is. Okay, yeah, he's pretty cute. That walk's a little... A little sassy, I think we might have the same walk, but that's fair. Why don't I have them come sit together? Is there a celebrity here? Who is she passing out over? Cause if there's a celebrity here, I need to get an autograph. You guys know how I am. Is he a celebrity? Oh, Angelo's calling. Hey Carolina, I think I have a crush on Kingo Fuji. Do you think it's worth a try? No, absolutely not. Like babe, no. You do not have a crush on someone else. Is he trying to make us jealous? Because he knows we're loyal. Like, no, I don't think he would be a good fit for you, sweetie. Like, is he trying to make us jealous? He definitely knows we're loyal. So, like, he knows that that would bother us. So, I'm just wondering. Okay, can you sit still? Like, do you just need to go? I'm going to give you a moment. Because I feel like maybe you need to go potty real bad. So... 
Let's just socialize a little bit. Let's discuss fitness Four. techniques since we're at the gym. Oh, dag, dag. Dag, dag. Chimere Jabin Sloffin. Let's discuss Bean interest. Show. Let's get to know him. Jabin. Ah, Beps and Nicole. Ah. Hey, you know, we're just meeting, so Bot I think a little gravy? small talk <laughs> is in order. Oh, Ask about day. Oh, share the lottery spirit. Bow. Okay, I think it's lottery it's day, so, so I guess we need to waste some of our money getting... I need to waste some of our money getting a lottery ticket. Also, did y'all just see the share the wonders of getting swole? Like, girl, go off, I guess. It's cute for a date. It definitely is. I guess this date's going fine. I don't know. I think with a makeover, I would I could be feeling it. While they're talking in the bathroom, I do not know. Like, okay, come brighten his day. Tell an engaging story. You're being a little bit difficult. Tell a knock knock joke. I feel like I said exercise, but we are not getting anything that wants us to exercise, which I guess is fine, but. Oh, we show off our fitness. I'm really fit. Just so you know. I'm gonna do one more small talk, and then I think we'll have to take a little photo. Let's show our personality quirks. They actually have a really. Pretty good relationship. <laughs> Do they have? Uh, they're annoying. They have good compatibility, and she finds him out very attractive. Also, he has like the max number of traits. I feel like in my game lately, so many people have like max traits. He's, but so far all these are good traits. These are actually all really good traits. Oh, he's flirting. A little autonomous flirting. He is also romantic. Why don't we uh, take a selfie together? <laughs> she already frog. has one with Angelo on her wall, so might as well take one with Rodrigo as well. Okay, they are having, they're they're getting kind of into it. They're having like a date. Oh, like look how cute this photo is. He's actually pretty cute. Let's randomize. They're actually, they're a pretty cute couple, and he doesn't look like her ex, which maybe is good. Let's go ahead and check him out a little bit. Make a flirtatious joke. Oh, he didn't like that. Do an impression. So spirited. Looks like Carolina just befriended a spirited sim. Spirited sims have a lust for life, spreading good vibes wherever they go and easily becoming the life of the party. Does she like spirited sims? I'm gonna say yeah. Oh, I feel like they're having like a little bit of a... I don't know, like I feel like the date's going well and then I feel like I see things that like... Maybe aren't going that well. He's He wants a lot of water, that's for sure. Exchange numbers. Oh. Sentiment gained. I'm glad you don't think my llama jokes are getting old. I feel like you just get me. Oh, it's getting pretty late, uh -huh. which... Rodrigo has joined the date and would like to spend more time together. Perhaps you would like to extend the date a little bit longer. Oh, our girl is really getting it in. Okay. Let's accept. Okay, oh. so more time for rendezvous. Vaccine. And I feel like we should go somewhere else so why don't we Narfa. let's tell her a story because she needs to tell stories but i think maybe we should ask to change the venue it's like 10 30 at night we still need to meet that wealthy weirdo but we have they said they would just be here today, but we still have the mood. We still have 12 hours left on that, so we could do it in the morning. She's not super tired. So I feel like maybe we should go somewhere where we can get something to eat. The only bad thing is, like, there's not a restaurant in this world. Like, maybe I should put one here. We could get food at the lounge, though. We kind of run the risk of potentially seeing Angelo there. But I'm gonna fingers crossed that he's not working the bar here tonight. Otherwise, it could be a little bit awkward. Or maybe I want him to be at the bar here tonight. It's drama, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna have her go ahead and order a food. Let's just get some pita and hummus. And then that way he can get some as well. 
And then maybe we should order drinks. We can order drinks for oh. date group. Oh, he's me. He's cleaning. Um, let's just get... Should we just get a virgin at Caparini? Considered often the national drink of Brazil, this is a very refreshing and simple to make option to enjoy at any festivity. According to historians, it was invented by landowning farmers in the region of Paracicaba, interior of the state of Chao Paulo during the 19th century as a local drink for high standard events and parties, a reflection of the strong sugarcane culture in the region. We hope your Sims enjoyed the simplified version rendition of this drink as prepared by our wonderful Sims mixologist. Yeah, I'm going to try that. That sounds really cool. And that should be like something new for this pack. I think that'll be neat. Well, let's test that one out. Okay, we got our pita and hummus. Let's grab a serving together. I want to I wanna make sure that he also eats. Let's also compliment his appearance. I feel like we complimented his outfit, but I also want to make sure that he knows that not only does the outfit look good, but he looks good. <laughs> romantic satisfaction begins. Carolina and Rodrigo have a strong romantic relationship. Okay, so we officially have some romantic satisfaction. We're almost done with the date. I want to get a gold date because we didn't get one in the last part. So I'm kind of fighting for it a little bit. Okay, we officially have a gold date. And now we have uh, Lilith in our conversation. And I know technically they said that, you know, that shouldn't be something that we have to deal with as much now. So I don't know what I should do to get rid of her. But also while I'm here, let me... Let me purchase a lottery ticket so our girl will be happy. We won't have much money left after that, but what can you do? Oh, here's Lewis. This is Nova's boyfriend. I'm pretty sure they're just dating in the swing. I also have Noah, which is like one of my starter sim makeovers. I can remind my sims around here. Let's discuss healthy relationships. And I think because the date's going so well... I think we have to go for the first kiss. Like, they're having a really good day. She's really attracted to him. She's very satisfied in their relationship. She's very attracted. She doesn't know how he feels about her, which is a choice. And maybe she shouldn't be jumping into this quite so aggressively, but it's just what our girl does, so... Look at them. Okay. Wait. 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 What do you mean I just learned henna's romantic boundaries? Why would I have just learned that? Why would I have learned that? What do you mean? Is he not? He's He's got to be single, right? He's on Cupid's Corner. You can't be... You can't be a Cupid's Corner if you're not single, but that's henna, right? It is. Why did that just happen? What is going on? Oh, I don't... I don't know about that. I'm just gonna go ahead and end this date cheerfully. And I'm gonna introduce myself to henna because... Am I missing something? Am I missing something? Let's go over here and give her a respectful introduction. We had a little bit of like a negative interaction there at the end of the day because Lilith was in our conversation and she didn't like that we, you know, got flirty like that, but it's fine. Honestly, it's 2 a.m. We're really tired, but we're right next to this motel and I just need to see... I should just see. Okay, we can meet the wealthy weirdo. So, I'm going to do it. We need to get this money. Like, I can't have her missing out on this money. She literally just spent 21 more dollars on a drink that she's not really even going to get. So, like, we got to meet the wealthy weirdo. And we got to hope that they give us... Okay. We got a lot from the wealthy weirdo. But also, <laughs> is my drink still over here? Because if so... We need to drink it. I don't know which one is mine, but... Uh -huh. 
Jesus. Anyways, hey, thanks for meeting me. Oh, you wanted some gifts, right? Check your pockets. Okay, she is feeling playful from weird meeting. Carolina met the wealthy weirdo, and it was so weird. Who would have thought someone that age would still be into void quarters? Hey, it is what it is, girl. Um, We got... So we got a decorative egg, we got another axolotl, we got an unnaturally large space rock, a couple of diamonds, some elements. So we got a few different things. I still don't know why the axolotls aren't worth anything. I feel like they're supposed to be. But at this point, I'm going to let my girl travel home and I'm going to see what we can do with the little bit of money that we've made and see what we can get her because she met the wealthy weirdo. She deserves to get a treat, right? Which maybe we should wait till the morning. You know what? We're going to wait until in the morning because she's going to get paid for work and she's actually going to get promoted. So let's just let her go to sleep, even though we should probably buy a fridge before her pita and hummus expires, right? Let's just sell... Let's just sell all those. So that's 739 simoleons. She's not going to do like... I don't think we're going to do anything with the jewels in this pack, so... I think it's fair not to. And I think our first new set of things we'll do is get her some kitchen stuff. So we'll get her a fridge. And I kind of want her to have a cute one. Like, I kind of want this one, but it's 500 simoleons. And it's kind of stupid to buy that. So I guess we'll just buy this one instead. And then we just need like one counter. Our favorite color is purple. Is there like... It's a bit much to look for like a purple kitchen. I literally just built Opal Jim's house. And I guess I knew there weren't really any purple. There's no new counters for this pack. The Home Shelf Puddle Soul ones are also really cute. But I think we'll still go with Dream Home Decorator. I actually kind of like the orange, but it, it doesn't go. I literally just made her fridge pink. So let's just buy that. So she'll have one counter and a fridge but we can put our pita and hummus away so that's gonna count for something and then we'll let our girl go to sleep we'll get paid and then we'll see if she can buy anything else with her money okay our girl is up and she stinks and needs to use the shower she didn't even get a full night's sleep because she's a because she stinks so bad also, she has this amazing date moonlit. Carolina is bouncing off the walls with excitement after that date. She can't wait to gush to others about such an amazing time. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, so I guess that's the question I have for you guys. What do we do? Our girls got Rodrigo, who definitely needs a makeover, but she's very attracted to him, but she doesn't know anything about how he feels about her. His traits are good, romantic, outgoing, child of the village, neat, and creative. He's got phenomenal traits. But we still have Angelo, who was our first. We only know that he's a slob. Um, they have amazing compatibility. She's neutral, attraction-wise, and fine. He's also fine. But they have crushes on each other, like, instantly. So, I don't know. Or should our girl just keep kind of dating around? I kind of feel like she should. I think that we probably don't have any new matches on Cupid's Corner yet, but... Oh, I think we could refresh again. Okay, let's refresh and see if we get anyone else really cute. Oh, Brennan is actually pretty cute, but he's evil, so... No. Rodrigo's still here? Jared is also neat. Not exactly my type. I... I do kind of love Morgan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save them. Paka's not my favorite. Wayne's not my favorite. Oh, Roberto's actually kind of cute. And I kind of like that he's romantically reserved. So we've got Morgan, Roberto, and then Akira to go on dates with in the next part. So I'm still waiting for her. To go to work so that we can see how much money she's gonna get so while she's doing that i think you can do a lot more on the phone and now so i think if we do social we can oh we can send a flirty selfie let's send a flirty selfie is that gonna is that gonna make him want to go oh maybe not in the bathroom babe 
Oh. Okay, give him a little muscle photo. Yeah, send him a flirty selfie. Yeah, that's adorable. Ooh, Angelo's feeling a romantic connection for Carolina and wants to suggest a date. I was wondering if, like, sending a flirty selfie would, like, make an action happen. Let's do it. Let's go on a date now. Let's... It's 7.54 in the morning. Let's do a romantic date. Let's do goals and rewards. Um, let's be romantic. Let's be friendly. Let's have some stargazing. You know what? We need to stargaze for our aspiration. Some reminiscing. And some physical intimacy, I think. And I hate to do it, but should we do it at Mikasa? Let's bring him here because I think maybe I can afford it. Let me hop and build by. Let's see if I can afford the new romantic blanket. I think I might be just off. It's $250. Oh, man. Okay, that's fine. Okay, there we go. We're working and we can work from home. So now we can afford it. Let's go back into Bill Buy and let's buy the blanket because they can sit out in and use it. And let's get like a cute pink one. I love pink. Not that. Okay, perfect. Let's get that. And Carolina has been promoted to passion assistant. Carolina has been promoted to passion assistant. She will now make an additional 14 per hour for a grand total of 34 per hour. She also got a 325 simoleon bonus and some share romantic satisfaction tips. Her attraction Chaba. to Angelo has Hello. changed. Apollo Chaba. I didn't see what it just said. She now finds him. She's now attracted to him. Okay, so let's go for it. Let's let's start with a little bit of romantic stuff. A little light flirting. Offered a rose. We'll discuss interest. We won't go straight into. We won't go straight into it. Let's discuss healthy relationships. What does she need to do for work? Give love advice. Okay. Thanks. We can do that. He didn't like, it seems like he didn't like something, but I didn't see anything negative happen. Why don't we come watch the sky? Okay, so she got paid. Let's have our guys come watch the sky a little bit. We got this blanket. It is raining, which is, you know, not ideal. Physical intimacy. Let's snuggle. What does, it, does it say what counts as light? No woohoo or messing around. Okay, so basically anything <laughs> under the physical intimacy besides that. We'll do a little <laughs> small talk because we need to. Uh -huh. Ask about his day. We actually probably still need to get to know him because we don't know as many of his traits as we do for Rodrigo. Also, now she has to read a romance novel to get promoted. So we have an additional promotion task, which is fine. Tease mercilessly. Whisper sweet nothing. Oh, we didn't win the lotto. Not su not surprised. Oh, they're both very satisfied in their relationship. Okay. Should we express devotion? That's such a lie, Carolina. You literally went on other dates like not that long ago. She's technically used a romance blanket two times, which is good, I guess. How do we reminisce over photos? Oh, was small talk. That's actually perfect because they have photos that they took. <laughs> <laughs> together on their Orbitani. first date. Rimbo, Let's share some personal Rinka. details. We can Shabba. share photos? Oh! Carolina! Angelo has left the date after receiving too many mean or mischievous <laughs> interactions. Girl! Why would you do that? He's gonna have a terrible date. Yeah, he has a terrible day. Wow, what a trash day. Angelo will not be forgetting Carolina's misbehavior anytime soon and definitely not interested in seeing her for a while. Carolina, he was literally very satisfied. Why did she do that? <laughs> oh gosh. Carolina, okay, well, I don't know. Her and Angelo have a really high relationship, but he's mad at her now. Maybe because 
He knows that she went on a date with Rodrigo. I don't know. You guys have to let me know what you think. But I'm going to wrap this part up here. I was going to wrap it up before the date. But honestly, it's hilarious that it went like that. Let me know what you think about this part down below. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you've enjoyed this series. Make sure to let me know what you want to do moving forward as far as all her different relationship options go. I'll be giving a makeover to Rodrigo and probably some more Sims just in the background. So just let me know. I want to say thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching us absolutely always and i will see you all next time bye <laughs>